Okay, go ahead and say it. Holy crap, Andy, two videos in one day? Yeah, I've been busy. Um, after putting light in the garage, I couldn't stop. So here's what I got. I monitor it right there. Yes, it does seem kind of low, but I'm looking to shoot it out far in front of me. So if it doesn't work, I'll just put extensions on it and I'll just raise it up. I wanted to stay below this. So if I carry wood, and I can still get my straps around behind them. I raise the straps because they're really thin. So I can get my thumb in there, so. There's one. And this is called the asshole deterrent. So when you get somebody tailgating you, yeah, that's what that's called. And jerks with high beams. Yep. That'll stop them damn quick. Let's go to lights in my crappy garage. So, of course I cut them too soon. This is for my brake controller. Uh, here's the relays for the uh, switches inside. And all the wires go through loom. And I got a light in here to show you. There's where they are. This is the front. There's the front one. And this is the asshole deterrent right there. There's the back one. So when you get Billy Bob tailgating you with his high beams on, you just flick that a couple freaking times. That'll make him cut his shit really quick. <laughs> and I got them mounted right here. So it's a front and reverse, so closer to the doors, front, and so on. And they work really good. Um, like I said, I got my brake control. I bought a cheapy, bought a cheapy brake control. I mean, I, I might use it, I might not use it. And then at Walmart, I bought this. That's the plug that does both, if I turn it right side up. It's got the round end four flat built into the plug, so it's a dual plug. So if you have a you know four flat, you can plug it in. The seven round, you can plug it in. So right now, I mean, I already put the hitch on. You saw the other last time, so I got the hitch in, and my four flat is just sitting here for now, and I'll mount my socket somewhere. Is nice. I don't know. So yeah, there it is. I got my positive and negative right here, wound up and waiting. They all run in. Through the firewall down there i ran loom in i get the light show you a little bit better so they go right in there that's where the clutch came out if you have a clutch i gotta put a little silicone around it yet seal it off because i'm officially done so yeah, i just screwed my relays in there in the battery box careful not to hit the battery that's why they're way on the very edge of the corner so yeah they got fuses in them factory fuses and I just have to wire up my uh, trailer stuff there. So I got to run two wires to the back. I need the blue for to activate the brakes, and I need the black for a power line to power the breakaway battery on the trailer. So there we go. Lights are in. One more thing off my list, my to-do list. And uh, that's it. I'm kind of happy with this. I think this is going to work just fine. You know, it does look like it's below the cab, but yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, if I got a, geez, I don't even know if I want to put extensions on it because, you know, if I got a piece of two by four here, I don't want to be, I can probably come up an inch or two. I really, I had a hell of a time here. Look at this. I'm making turn this into Swiss cheese trying to get it to fit. I might be able to bring it up to here. I highly doubt it though, but oh well, that's enough of this crap for today. I've had enough. My big salamanders, it's a beautiful, balmy 62 in here right now. Yeah, this 175,000 thing, man, this thing kicks ass in here. Unbelievable. Warms it up quick. Okay. And if it's broke, call dad. <laughs> Have a good one, guys.